So Xbox Game Pass is a subscription service that allows you to download and play dozens of fantastic titles on your Xbox console. But one of the best bits of this service is the fact that just by upgrading to the Ultimate Game Pass service, you can also download and enjoy those exact same games on your PC or laptop. And that's great news if you want to keep on smashing through that Game Pass library on your gaming laptop when you're out and about, or if most of your friends tend to play on the PC rather than Xbox. And there is also a PC-only subscription to Game Pass if you don't happen to have an Xbox console. So here's a quick and easy guide on how to get started with Xbox Game Pass on your PC, including a roundup of some of my favourite titles that are currently sat there in the library and some little tips and tricks. And for more than the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now stage one is nice and simple, basically just download the Xbox app for PC and you can do so by pointing your Smut Finder, otherwise known as a web browser, at the following address. That's xbox.com slash apps slash Xbox app for Windows 10. And yes, you will need Windows 10 to get Xbox Game Pass work and older versions are no good. Definitely don't try it on a bit of bloody Vista. Get that app downloaded and installed and you're practically ready to rock. All you need to do now is sign in with your Microsoft or your Xbox account. And don't worry if you don't already have one because you can set one up for free through the app. And if you're not already a subscriber, the Xbox Game Pass subscription will cost you £8 a month for the PC only plan. Otherwise, you can upgrade to £11 a month for the Ultimate plan, which covers PC as well as the Xbox console. And another great thing about that Ultimate subscription is it also covers streaming Xbox games to your Android smartphone. I've done a separate video all about that, so go check that out for all you need to know. So you're all signed in and good to go. Now you can peruse that massive Xbox games library and download whatever tickles your fancy. And here's a few of my favorites right now. If you grew up with classic LucasArts point and click games, then great news. The absolutely wonderful Day of the Tentacle has been polished up and added to the Game Pass library. And it is definitely well worth another playthrough thanks to the stupidly funny script and brain punchingly difficult puzzles. And I've also still got a lot of love for Grim Fandango as well, even though I generally don't get on well with that clunky 3D engine. That's also been spruced up polished a bit and chucked on the Game Pass library, you can download it right now. Even hardcore horror fans are guaranteed to have ruined Undercrackers after a stint on Alien Isolation, which is hands down the most terrifying game I've played in recent times, probably alongside Resident Evil 7, which is also conveniently here on Game Pass. I mean seriously, is Microsoft not going to be happy until our bowels have been well and truly cleansed? Anyway, Isolation ties in nicely with the Alien Cinematic Universe, complete with that omnipresent dread of the first film. It's blum and horrible, but in the best possible way. And likewise, Dead Space 2 is now on the Game Pass library as well, along with the rest of the trilogy, and that still remains one of my favourite sci-fi horror jaunts. Definitely as engrossing as it is harrowing. And sticking with the horror vibe, Carrion is another great Xbox Game Pass title with the cunning twist that you're the horrible gribbly that's squelching about the place murdering innocent folk. Definitely a sublime little stress reliever. And platform and Metroidvania fans should also have a gander at Narita Boy, which is an old school Metroidvania style romp that's so addictive you'll forget to do stuff like eat, sleep and go to the lavvy. And the same goes for the two Ori titles as well, which are absolutely stunning and play it beautifully, fluidly, but also they are tougher than a Weatherspoon's pork chop. Or at least they are if, like me, your reaction's been slowed by two decades of booze ups. Hypnospace Outlaw is well worth a look for anyone who grew up with dodgy 90s dial-up internet and crappy homemade websites filled with flashing pics and terrible music. It's a small little detective game that has you policing the titular hypnospace before things get even more bonkers. And if you don't mind a so-called walking simulator, then What Remains of Edith Finch is a harrowing and gripping journey through one family's tragic past. Not one to play when you're feeling a bit melancholic perhaps, but certainly a very memorable experience. And last up, pretty much every Doom title ever created throughout the history of video games is also available to download and play for free on Xbox Game Pass, as are the Halos and also the Gears of War games, including Tactics, which is a surprisingly good XCOM ripoff. And new games are joining the PC Game Pass library all the time, although bear in mind that this also means that existing titles are also being taken off to make room. So top tech expert tip, definitely keep tabs on the leave and soon section in case anything pops up on there that you fancy a blast on or that you're already part way through. You usually get at least a week or two heads up and if the time has practically run out you can actually buy those games with a discount until they leave Game Pass. 
And in further good news, Microsoft is actually starting to bring titles to Game Pass on the very day that they are released to buy for everyone in the world. So as one example, you've got Dark Alliance coming to Game Pass on June 22nd, the launch day for both PC and Xbox. And that even includes full cross-play support between the two as well, so a bloody lovely stuff. Now most of the games that you download to your PC or laptop via Game Pass will work even when your PC is offline. You just need to remember to log in online once every 30 days to keep things running smoothly. So no worries if you're off on a trip to the arse end of nowhere with bugger all internet access, you can still get your game on. And in these covid times when it's that little bit harder to get out and stay social, see friends and all that good stuff, well the good news is that Game Pass can at least help you to stay social by getting gaming with your mates online. You can keep on using apps like Discord uh, to chat during your gaming session, otherwise the Xbox Game Pass app does actually have a party chat feature built in. All you've got to do is head to the social tab in the Xbox app and add friends using their gamer tags. And once they've confirmed that you actually are friends and you're not just some random Yahoo, then you're ready to jump into a game online. Back in the social tab, just click on your mate of choice and then select open chat, or else you can also start a party up top here. And you will of course find loads of great multiplayer titles on Game Pass for PC, from classic side-scrollers like Battletoads and Streets of Rage, and racing games like Forza as well, to addictive RPGs and your usual online shooty shenanigans. And to see which games actually support cross-play multiplayer between PC and Xbox, just go to the full list of games then click Capabilities and there is an option to tick in there. So that right there is just a few little tips and tricks on how to get set up and how to get started on Xbox Game Pass on your PC. And it really is a fantastic service, especially if you're the kind of person like me, likes to try out lots of different games rather than getting one title and 100% completing it over the course of like 60, 70 hours. And there really is lots of stuff for everyone on this thing, whether you're just like cozying up with a your story-led solo adventure or whether you're just like getting online and blasting your mate's skulls across the other side of the room. So there you go. If you've got any tips and tricks of your own, definitely feel free to smash those down into the comments below. Please do plug subscribe, ding that notifications bell, yada, 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 and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.